everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope I find you all really well. Today I am bringing to you my top kitchen tips, tricks and hacks for busy lives. I am a busy person like most of us and I find myself using all of these all of the time. So I thought I would share them with you. If you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you as part of my YouTube family. And if you are a returning viewer, thank you so much for supporting my channel. It is just so appreciated. So with all that said, let's get into the video. So this is an absolutely life-changing hack for me. <laughs> I used to avoid buying pineapples because I just can't be bothered to cut them. I just find them so fiddly. So I just thought... I was chopping an apple for my son using my apple slicer and I just thought I wonder if the core of a pineapple would fit through this slicer because it didn't look like it would to be honest the middle of the slicer it looks really really small but I thought I'd try it and honestly it has saved me so much hassle just look how it glides through this pineapple honestly just push it through job done pineapple all sliced core is out there was no need to tidy it up. It had just full taken the core out and it hadn't left any on the strips of pineapple that were left. And you can just pop that through and discard of it and then just chop up your pineapple. Simple as that. And honestly, the children ate so much more pineapple in the summer because of this hack. I would never have bought so many pineapples if it wasn't for this. So yeah, winner hack. So my next hacks are not really hacks as such. They are just about saving time on food preparation as a busy person. Not just because I'm a mum, but just generally busy people. Um, I just think use the gadgets. If you can spare a little bit of money to purchase a gadget that you will get endless use out of, it's so worth it. So this particular one is my slow cooker. Here I'm popping in a chilli and I'm just leaving that to cook all day for eight hours on low. So then after school and after work, we've got a hot, healthy, home-cooked meal and it really has just not been very much prep work at all. It's just amazing. Um, we use gadgets for lunches. So here I've got the sandwich toaster and in a matter of five minutes, you pop it all in the toasty maker. It was about £15 and you've got a nice hot toasted sandwich. Yes, your eyes don't deceive you. That is cheese and baked beans. <laughs> it goes down really well in our house and... Yep, a really quick um, quick gadget to use to make a nice warm lunch. I personally love the soup maker. This is my Morphe Richards one. It is a smaller one. I probably do need to upgrade it at some point. But this soup just does me fine. So on this particular day, I'm using leek, potatoes and carrots with vegetable stock. Just pop it all in, add the stock and then pop it onto chunky setting. Um, this is my stock cube. This is a hack. I saw this online. It's not my hack. I saw it online years ago. But did you know that you can crush up your stock cube in the packet and then just tear off a corner and tip it out just saves you getting all the stock cube all over your fingers um, because they make such a mess don't they <laughs> so yeah you can just tip it all out and um, I tend to use two stock cubes in a soup and this soup will last a couple of days and yeah like I said I just pop it on the chunky set and leave it to do its thing it takes 20 minutes and um, I have a hot homemade soup ready to go Crushed up fruit, no problem. Pop them on a layer of kitchen roll. You can layer them up on top of each other and that, that will just absorb the water so that your fruit lasts longer. You can do this with raspberries, strawberries, any fruit and it will just absorb the water so that it basically will just stay fresh a bit longer. So keep these in your fridge and yeah. Here's a storage hack. I have found a brilliant in cupboard storage drawer from Joseph. Joseph, I purchased mine from Next, but you can purchase them from anywhere. It just clips to the top of your cupboard and you can store away all your treats and snacks and the kids can't get to them. Well, my, my little children can't get to them. It's too high up. But yeah, that's my secret storage drawer. 
So next is all about the freezer. I just love to buy frozen where I can because I just don't waste anything. So I've got the frozen diced chorizo, some chopped garlic, some chopped chilies, and they're just so handy to just add to meals as and when they have sealable bags. And yeah, they just they just cut down on, on any waste and everything gets used. So I'm a really big fan of frozen. I also have things like frozen spinach. Um, this is really handy to add into like bolognese and stuff. And um, I seal the bags with these little clips. These clips are great. I bought mine from Home Bargains. They were only about £2 for a bag. And I can clip together bags of peas and fruit and stuff that sometimes does go a little bit loose in the freezer <laughs> so yeah I've got those and then I also have these reusable ice cubes I store mine in a ziploc bag a freezer bag but the ice cubes are plastic they have water in you just freeze them wash them up reuse them and they're fantastic I've had mine for years they're little fruit shapes and yeah they're just really handy for um, putting ice in your drinks So they are my top kitchen tips that I'm using at the moment. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.